I'm going to show you how to build Mumbo Jumbo's Minecraft pig elevator. In his video, he doesn't really explain how to build it. He just kind of shows it off. As of right now, April 27th, 2025, this only works in the snapshots. If you're watching this a few months from now, this should be in the game. Let me show you how it works. You sit on the pig and then you press the button and then the pig will go up and the pig is actually attached to the boat that you're sitting in. And then there you go. It's an elevator. It literally works as an elevator. You could put a different block in between this. It doesn't have to be glass. I just wanted to show glass because it's kind of funny because you get to see the pig. And then look, it comes all the way back down. This redstone is actually extremely easy and I'll show you how to build it right now. We're first gonna start off with two blocks and then we're gonna put redstone dust on top of that. And then on the left side, we're gonna put comparators coming out of it. And then we're gonna put redstone dust here and then the target block. And then facing the other direction, let's put comparators going this way. This is our timer. So when we press this button, it'll make it so it's the soul sand that pushes it all the way up. And then after the timer goes off, it'll switch and then it'll come all the way back down. This is a block switcher right here, so it's switching from the magma stone to the soul sand. Behind this redstone dust, let's put the piston, and then we're gonna put the soul sand. Behind the soul sand, we're gonna put a block, and then we're gonna put a redstone torch, and some redstone right beneath it. Now coming out of the target block, we're gonna put a repeater going this way, then a block, and then redstone on top of that. Now we wanna build a piston over here, so we're gonna put a piston on top of the redstone torch like this. This is where we're gonna put the magma block. You should have something looking like this. Then on top of this redstone, we're gonna put a block, and this is where the button goes. So you could test it out, and you could see that it's swapping the block. Then after a time, you could see that this is getting dimmer, and then it goes back. When you press this button, it's actually gonna switch these blocks around and this is just a block swapper. This is super nice. This will make it so it goes up when you press the button and then when it switches back, the water will pull you down. Let's build the platform next. We're just gonna kind of build around this. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two walls here and then two walls here. We're gonna put some stained glass here, here, and here. We're gonna put a fence over on this side and open it. After this, we're gonna actually build the tube on top. So we're just gonna go like this all the way up. You can build your tube as tall as you want. I'm just gonna build it this height. Now we gotta get the bubble column working. So we're gonna actually break this magma block for now and replace it with dirt. We're gonna go all the way up to the top of this and you can get all the way up here in survival some other way. We put the water bucket on top and then it's gonna fill this whole entire spot with water but we need to make all of this water source blocks. So what we need to do, we actually need to go all the way down to the bottom of it. And we're gonna actually place some kelp at the bottom and we're gonna build all the way up to the top with the kelp like this. And then you could go all the way down back to the bottom and just break it right here. You could come and replace this dirt block with the magma block. Now you got the working bubble column. I'm gonna just decorate this really quick. I'm gonna put walls up here. I did build it a little shorter than the other one. Then I'm gonna build two blocks up like this with the walls. Now you want a way to get up here. We're gonna use ladders to get all the way up to the top. So we need to get up here and we're gonna actually build up so that we can dangle the pig using the leads on top of this. It's gonna look kind of funny. We could put down these ladders now. Also, this is the time where you can put the boat and we're gonna just put the boat right inside of here. The reason for this boat is that it actually blocks the magma block from the pig standing on it and burning. So like you you can see that the pig is standing on this and he, he's not burning. Now you need to figure out how to get the pig up there and this is why we built this ladder. To get the pig up there we're gonna just, I don't know, find a pig and then we're gonna use the lead and come up the ladder. So now the pig is kind of dangling. We're gonna dangle him right on top of the bubble column so he's gonna be right here and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break this. This is gonna be, it's gonna be a little a little tricky. I don't know. I don't know how else you'll be able to do this, but I, I bet there's a way so you can, I don't know, experiment. So I'm going to break this. Well, this didn't really go as planned. Um, we want to push the pig into here. Ugh. Okay, get in there. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. Let's, we just need him in there. And then now we got to push him into the, the, Bubble column, bubble column, there we go. Now he's going down and now it's raining. <laughs> now we got the pig in there. He's like, yeah, I don't know why they're spinning. Both of them are spinning. We're gonna put this boat right here and this is for the actual elevator part. And you'll come across maybe a few more pigs and you just wanna bring them into the boat. Come on, come on, get, get in the boat. Let me, no, get, no. Okay, we'll just push you in, there you go. You could put two in 
because <laughs> that means you will have two passengers. Now you want to saddle both of them. This part's actually really important, so listen. We're going to actually lead the boat first. We're going to crouch and lead the boat and come over here. And then we're going to crouch and lead the pig. And you want to do the boat first, not the pig. If you did the pig first, it's not going to work. You want to do the boat first. Now we could actually just test it. Looks like it's working. There it goes. Yep. There you go. You can make this taller or shorter based on how big your base is. This elevator would be really good if you're making like a huge base or just, I don't know, some big warehouse. So you just sit on the pig and then you press the button and it'll launch you up. Oh, this is literally so cool. And then it'll stop you right here. Now, one thing I figured out is that on this one, look, it's gonna bring the pig up and then it's gonna stop and it's gonna stay still. Well, pretty still. This is because we have this little barricade right here using iron bars. And if you haven't built your second floor yet and you wanna figure out where you wanna build it, you can then put the barricade somewhere. So I'm gonna put the barricade right here. We're gonna put carpet on top of it. And then look, now when it goes up, it'll be stuck right there and it'll just look like super nice. Oh, it'll look super nice and just like flat with the floor. I hope all this made sense. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.